How's everybody doing and welcome to the channel. Uh, so in today's video, if you guys can't already tell, uh, we have a lot of changes going on around here. I've talked about it in my older videos. If you haven't seen them, I suggest checking those out. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and that bell button so you see when I upload stuff. But we're gonna talk about how I'm setting up a 100 gallon guppy stock tank. Uh, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you the process of getting this set up and you guys can follow along with me. So here we have the tank. Uh, I already got started a little bit. I have a heat gun here. Uh, I just, you don't have to do any of this stuff, but I plan on putting a black strip of paint around that middle section. Uh, I'm gonna leave the rest kind of looking original. I don't want to paint the entire thing, um, but I do want to kind of just make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, so I'm using this heat gun here to help warm up these stickers. I had this sitting outside and then in the garage. And it's getting pretty cold out here. Uh, so I do plan on removing the stickers, but I figured I'd show you some of these steps. I'll get this all cleaned out. Um, but I ordered a lot of things off of Amazon. And as always, I always put the links for everything down in the description. Um, but for today, I'm going to show you how I'm getting this painted. Uh, I'll tape it off, paint it, what I'm using, uh, what it looks like kind of before and after. And it's really close. It's hard to back up and get a good shot of this. Um, but I got started on this. And I'm like, I definitely got to share this video because I think it's going to come out awesome. Uh, so the idea is I was over here uh, this morning. I was showing you guys how the guppies had their babies and stuff. Uh, so my plan is I've been breeding and selling guppies for years now. Uh, sometimes I'm a little bit more hands-on. Sometimes I kind of do a little bit more passive and I let them go for a while. Um, but this is going to really help me get more of a system down where I can put the fry in here, give them two, three months, grow them up. Uh, then it'd be so much easier to get into this tank. It'd be really cool to watch the guppies from above too. I'm gonna put this upstairs in my room. Um, I have like a little plant room I'm working on. So that's gonna be a whole different renovation. Uh, I'm gonna capture all that in the video today and show everything to you guys. But imagine having just like two big sponge filters, heater in here, um, maybe grow some moss in there. I can sell the moss as well. Uh, this would be so easy to go in there and net the fish out. Uh, bag them up, take them to the store, put them in buckets. Uh, it's gonna save me so much time on catching the fish with even little things with taking the lights off, removing the lids, catching the fish and moving the plants, trying not to catch the parents. Uh, it's a lot easier to catch the fry when they're young. They all kind of school up a little bit. Uh, it'll be a little bit time intensive, but it's not all in one day. I can do a little bit here and there. And then the selling days gonna be super easy. But let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you what it looks like to paint this. Uh, the room they're going in and kind of the final product. Just so you guys can get an idea what I did for that front sticker. These are nice. This is like pretty cheap. I got it at Home Depot. It's like 20, 30 bucks. Uh, just a little heat gun. You can warm up the stickers. Helps remove them. Um, and this tank was, I still got the tag on it. Uh, 130 is 129 at Tractor Supply. So that's somewhere you can get it. And then razor blades. I already warmed this up a little bit and they don't always need this. Uh, but you can just razor blade these off. It's a lot easier than trying to peel it and fight with it. Uh, and that's something I've done for so long is uh, fight with these stickers. But if you warm them up a little bit, it does go a long way and it helps out a lot. And then I'm just gonna wipe this down with some alcohol cleaner uh, around the whole surface, uh, wipe it down good. Then I'm gonna tape this off and paint it and we can go ahead and check that out. All right guys, so I'm just taking my time cleaning this up. I use some, uh, I have 99% um, the Isopro alcohol cleaner. Um, so I definitely took my time on that with the razor blade and just a, a towel and a wet rag. Uh, keep putting that over there to get that stickiness off of it uh, from those stickers. But now we're going to go around and just wipe this down. I'm going to tape around the edges and then we're going to go ahead and get this painted. Um, I'm just going to use some paint I have left over. I think really any type of, and don't quote me on any of this stuff, but a lot of these things, it's, it's never exactly like one solution for everything. Um, but as long as you're using an acrylic based paint, um, you should be just just fine painting this. And I'm gonna be using a sponge roller. So let me get this last little spot uh, taped off and we'll go ahead and paint it.
here you have it guys so uh put two coats of paint on this uh it's a little tedious you got to go slow with painting that stuff um i like just to get the first coat on kind of uh quick and then go through smooth the second time you don't want to over paint when you're painting on metal um, but just make sure you're taking your time using a sponge roller and then uh pe peel that tape off before it gets uh too dry uh it's not perfect where i peeled it back but i think it looks a lot better now so let me show you the plant room where it's going to go it's kind of a mess now but i want you guys to see the kind of before and after all right guys so here's like my spare room i'm going to turn this in it's like a guest room but not right now uh so you can see it's a mess but i want you guys to see the before and after of this um so here you can see i've been growing a variety of plants uh really getting in all the plants and all the fish tanks right now uh like right here is what i'm pretty excited about this is a nectarine so it's starting to grow that's a mango um, so some of these things I've grown from seeds, uh, that's a type of banana plant, there's some mint there, uh, a couple little house plants. Um, over here I have some, there's the birds screaming, I was trying to get them not to, but uh, I'm growing some uh, Bosnia trees, I think they're called. Uh, so this has been going for like four months, it's grown slow and steady. Uh, I bought this kit actually on Amazon. Um, I think I had five different varieties of seeds and only two really took. Um, but they're slow and steady. They're pretty cool. These are some flowers I'm growing right now just from seeds So really liking all that stuff, but yeah, this is the room I want you to see the mess before it's uh, all done But over here, I'm gonna do that stock tank. I was debating on putting on a little elevated stand um, But I think I'm just gonna keep it on the ground and then maybe do something above it do like a cabinet up here uh, One of those leftover kitchen cabinets. I'm gonna paint that and I'm even debating on putting a upside down 10 gallon tank in it and try to do one of those like pockets where uh, the fish can swim up into it. Uh, so really excited, have a lot of ideas. Uh, I'm gonna get after this today and uh, show you what it looks like when I'm done, but I'm excited to get this uh, room uh, in a lot more better shape and we can uh, check it out. All right, so here we have all of our products that we're gonna need for the pond. Uh, so right here, and I'll put all this stuff in the description. Uh, we have our heater, we have our air pump. This is up to 100 gallons. Uh, you got your check valve, your check valves here, um, your splits, so I can do two different pumps. Uh, we got our sponge filters here, which I'm actually going to put these in my old aquariums. And so I have like two or three running on those tanks. So I'm going to take one old one, put it in here. It's going to get that tank cycled almost immediately. And then I'll put this in the old tank so it'll have a fresh filter and it still has another sponge filter running. And then here's the heater. I'm really a big fan of these. Uh, they're way cheaper than the ones at the pet store. I think it was like 45 bucks. And this goes up to 100 gallons and it's gonna have the thermostat built in. Uh, so let's go ahead, get this thing set up. Uh, I'm gonna hang my cabinet above. I need to get that painted. But yeah, just checking in. We'll keep chugging along. All right, we're getting there. So I have the heater to sit in the water, not plugged in yet. We have 40 gallons, uh, four or five gallon buckets or 20 gallons of cycled water. We're filling it up right now with the python hose. I uh, just run that from the kitchen up here. Uh, those are definitely a game changer. So the temperature is at 77 already from the other tank and that's what I'm filling it up with. So hopefully by the time this is filled, I can plug the heater in. Um, swapped out the sponge filters downstairs. I'll bring those up. But yeah, I'm gonna show you, we're filling it up. I'm excited. Here you have it guys. All right, so I'm really excited about this. I'll give you a little rundown of everything going on here, uh, but let's check it out. So, got it up and running, got the heater plugged in, got the sponge filters going. I actually do have some guppies in here. Let's see if I can see them swimming around. So when I was draining the water, I had like a one inch hose. And I was sucking up the babies in the tank, so. We got about 10 or 15 of them in there. Um, the tank's already cycled. The, the best thing about having multiple aquariums is setting up a new one so easy uh, you take some aged water you take some filter media that has good bacteria already established on it um, but yeah so basically everything going on here got the tank set up measure it off your wall and everything because once this thing's filled up it's not moving um, unless you drain it down it's i mean it's not it's definitely movable but when it's full it's full it's not going anywhere uh, i had to shim it just a very little bit up here i, sh I put some shims they like a four foot level. Make sure it's all level because water is always level. Uh, last thing you want to have is a tank filled up and then you have like <laughs> a water line on the side. Uh, it just kind of looks funny. 
Um, but yeah, so we have the tank here. You can get these at Tractor Supply. I think it was like 129. Uh, you can find them way cheaper. The more you look around, I've seen auctions and stuff and used ones and you can find them for cheaper, but it's always a Tractor Supply. You can go buy them brand new, uh, especially if you get a coupon or anything like that. Uh, we did go ahead and paint this. I think it looks way better with uh, just a black strip right there. I saw it on, uh, I'll throw actually a picture right here of what I was basing this off of. I've always wanted to do this, but I saw a picture and I was like, oh, that's really cool. I can definitely do something similar to that. So yeah, I mean, it's not the best picture there. I had to kind of crop it a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's a really cool idea for outside. Uh, I'm sticking with the sponge filters because the waterfall wouldn't really work for this setup. Um, but yeah, we got our sponge filters. We have our heater there. Uh, it's hanging on the back. These are nice. They have a little um, little sticker. I have it set at 77, 76 right now. This shop light's probably not gonna be there um, for the whole time. I figured to toss it on for the video. Uh, if anything, I might hang it above. But yeah, I'm super excited about this. Uh, it's not done just yet. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on adding some guppies and any uh, different changes I do. The water is a little bit too fast, especially for viewing from the top, um, but it's gonna function really well. Uh, but who knows, maybe I'll put like another tank over here. I always can tie into that air pump and uh, kind of dim it out or I can put a diffuser on that. So, oh, one last thing I did put on uh, some check valves on this, especially with a tank this size. Uh, if anything ever happened with the power going out, um, the water went, it could drain and go backwards. Uh, always put those check valves on. Uh, I'll put links for all these things I'm using. Uh, the check valves, I did get like one cracked one and a couple of them weren't working. Anytime you buy those, I always kind of like blow through them in one direction. Make sure that they work and if they don't, just return them. Not a big deal on Amazon, I always fix that stuff for me in the past. So it's not usually uh, any issues because everything else worked out well. The sponge filters, the heater, um, the air pump. I'll put uh, all the links for that stuff down below. Gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I'm really excited about this. There's gonna be a lot more videos to come in the future. Uh, I'll show all the fish I put in here, how they grow, how it works, um, how easy it is to catch these guys out and sell them to the store. Uh, this thing's gonna be a guppy, guppy machine. I'm pretty excited. Uh, who knows, maybe I'll even get back to shipping fish online. But um, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, like below, comment if you made it to the end, uh, and check out some of my order videos. I'll post those here on the screen. Uh, you can go and watch those, but until next time, guys, hopefully you guys are having a good one, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys.